and Rose Meltzer went forward with the belief that their son's death was an accident. And this setback rocked the family during a time when brother A.L. and Herman's Evans Furs was skyrocketing to the top of the industry. Those Meltzer kids obviously weren't taught how to cope or how to parent or, or you know, the relationship skills were really lacking and that got passed down. All I know is that he had a photographic memory, he was brilliant, and the family loved him. Yeah, I think she loved the way I looked, so she was always, you know, like I was her little doll. All of his grandchildren wrote reports on Nuremberg at some point in school. You know, someone would always have an assignment, interview some relative about something. Nonchalantly would toss a question out and the, the beads of sweat were pouring off as he's trying to answer Uncle Bernie's question. A lot of people live in fear that, you know, oh my God, is that going to happen to me? In the end, a lot of people got hurt. A lot of customers got hurt. It was just a bad thing. It's this dinosaur, you know, a toy dinosaur on the table. And he says, you know what happened to these dinosaurs? It was a, a, a very unique era. Jeff and I got some calls, and people were just sobbing. Well, they shut the doors on people. That was pretty high profile. A fish has got to swim and an eagle's got to soar. That's their natural temperament and how they want to live and how they want to play. And when that's blocked, people are really unhappy. Thank <laughs> you.